Hey folks, in this video we're going to be looking at how to move B so that the distance of AB equals to 20. So we are trying to move B along this line so that the distance now is going to be 20. Right now the red line actually says what the distance currently is. So to work that I've got y2 minus y1 squared uh, plus x2 minus x1 squared. So what I've got is 10 minus 3 squared plus 6 minus 4 squared and I end up with 49 plus 4 so square root of 53 which is 7 point something I think I have it here or I did have it there where's my calculator Seven point two eight. Now, what I want to do is um, I want to actually change uh, b so that the distance now is going to be twenty. The problem is b could actually be in two directions. One, it could be to the right of a, or two, it could actually be on the left side of a as well. So, it could end up being twenty this way as well. So, b could be uh, moved to two different places. So. To solve this, what I need is I need to find the equation of AB first. So first I'm going to work out what the gradient of AB. So that's y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So I've got 10 minus 3 divided by 6 minus 4. I hope that's right. So which gives me a gradient of 3.5. So the equation of AB, I'm going to get y equals to mx plus c. I'm going to use the point 4, 3. So which means I'm going to get 3 equals 3.5 times 4 plus c. 3 equals 14 plus c. And c equals 3 minus 14. So it's negative 11. So the equation of AB is y equals to 3.5x minus 11. Now the reason I need the equation is I need to I need the equation to actually find out what the distance is because if we think about it A is here and B is somewhere along this equation of this line. So if I think about it I'm going to have X and Y which is the B value A value is 4 and 3. But because I've got Y I've already calculated what y is. y is equal to 3.5x minus 11. So I'm going to replace that y with 3.5x minus 11. And then I'm going to work out my distance. So this is x1 and y1. This is x2 and y2. So and remember the distance formula is y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. Now the distance I want is 20. So that's going to be 20 equals square root of y2 which is 3.5x minus 11 minus y1 so minus 3 squared plus x2 is x minus x1 is 4 squared uh, so what i can do is i can get rid of the square root symbol by squaring the other side so it's going to look like this 20 squared equals 3.5x now minus 11 minus 3 is minus 14 squared plus x minus 4 squared so at this point, I got two ways I can do this. I can do this in the graphics calculator or I can do it in decimals as well. So I'm going to show you guys both methods. So with the graphics calculator, go into menu and go into graph mode. So type in the 20 squared first in the top line and in the second line type in the equation. So you got 3.5x minus 14 squared plus x minus 4 squared and we draw it. Now if you press G solve and press intersect it gives you your first x value which is negative 1.49 and gives you a second x value which is 9.49 so x is equal to negative 1.49 or 9.49 so having a look at it again so you press when you press G solve you press ISCT which is the intersection point and it gives you the first one which is negative 1.4 and the second one which is 9.49 
Now, if that's your x values, you got to actually figure out what the y values are. So, when x equals negative 1.49, and when x equals to 9.49, you go back and put it into the equation, which is 3.5 times negative 1.49 minus 11, and 3.5 times 9.49 minus 11. So, with the first one, uh, let's go to menu. What do we got? 3.5 times negative 1.49 minus 11. So that's negative 16.215. And for the second one, you're going to get 3.5 times 9.49 minus 11. 22.215. So the two points B could potentially move is negative 1.49 and negative 16.215 or 9.49 and 22.215 so those are the two points where B could potentially move to so that the distance is actually equal to 20 okay that's basically it for this little short clip guys um, but if you want to have a look at what the question actually looks like so also oh, to do it in Desmos do the first two um, colored things that I've done here, which is y equals 20 squared in the equation. And if you go to the points, you can actually click on the two points. And you can see that how it's negative 1.4 and 9.49. That's another way to find the two x values. And as for the points itself, so here was the original point for A and B. I'm going to get and I wanted to move so imagine this red point is where B is being moved to but let me just draw the equation of that line so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to about 9.49 roughly around there okay, that's the closest I could get because I mean I've got to really be accurate what you can see is right here you can see the distance that it's actually 20 and if I move the red point to about negative 1.49 which is around there around there you can kind of see it and again I'm getting the distance close to 20 but if I actually put it in negative 1.49 that's how close I am to it okay so hopefully that made sense folks and uh, that's basically it for this uh, short little video uh, thank you for watching